Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So in this video we are going to talk about Microsoft Azure App Service. So in previous tutorial we had a few tutorial about Microsoft Azure and this is a continuation of that and you know we are going to talk about the Azure App Service. So what we will do in this tutorial would be like how we can deploy a Node.js application to the Azure App Service. So we will uh, talk about this in detail like what we will be doing uh, as part of this tutorial like how we can use this Node.js web app in the Azure app service. So the basic step what we will do is like uh, we will talk about a little bit of uh, on a base uh, Node.js application. So I uh, already have a you know, Node.js application in my GitHub. I'll show you the link and we'll talk about what this app actually do it and we will see like how you can sign into Microsoft Azure from your uh, VS Code, Visual Studio Code uh, editor and you'll also see how we can configure your app service and uh, deploying your the code into the app service and we'll also talk about you know how we can redeploy updates like when you make changes into your uh, app you can redeploy in, uh, you the updates and we'll also see how you can clean up the resources like deleting your resources which is created in your Azure app. So that would be the overall process. So we'll go through complete in uh, step by step process so you will not have any uh, doubt. So you'll, uh, you will be able to easily create uh, all these things and you can also make use of uh, my app from the GitHub. So if you want to deploy it to your uh, Microsoft Azure app. Okay. So uh, before we get into the actual demo of this process in Microsoft Azure and using Visual Studio Core editor, editor, I would request you like, you know, if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button, also like my video and share and give your uh, feedback in the comment section. So in order to start, you know, uh, I have this GitHub link, uh, which I will link into the video description. So, you know, we are going to use this app where uh, it's called node app underscore test. Okay, so this I actually used it for uh, Kubernetes deployment and services. So you, can, so you can see already we have some Docker file, you know, Docker file, you have some deployment services, YAML file, right? But don't worry about that. Uh, what we require is only like uh, the index.js and the package.json, uh, those kind of things, okay? So you can clone this uh, into your uh, local machine and I already have uh, that cloned and open in the Visual Studio code editor because it's easy for us to sign into you know uh, microsoft azure using visual studio code editor and push it to your uh, you know uh, push all this code into your uh, azure app okay so uh, if you see this app you know it's a simple you have an index.js where we are using an express uh, you know um, one you can see we are creating express app and using that we are having just a few routes like you know if you go to your uh, home uh, location you will be getting like a response hello from this for you and if you go to the slash will route you'll get a hello world and if you go to slash ready you'll get great it works okay and it's running on port uh, 3000 and you know you can see the package dot uh, json file where we have defined you know uh, when it start uh, what has to be running and you know what are the dependencies uh, used for this like we are using express and you know other dev dependencies and uh, you know don't worry about this test.js because it's not uh, necessary for us so what i will do is like i want to show you like how this app works right so now if you see i'm uh, you know inside this location where uh, this app is there and you know in order to have have this app running you need to have the dependencies installed right so i will use npm install so once i run the npm install it will start installing all the dependencies which is the express app and mocha and super test and all those things now you can see we have a folder getting created here right like uh, node modules so here you will have all the dependencies getting installed so this is important because you need to have the dependencies ready otherwise you know you will not be able to run the uh, app itself okay now you can see you know if i run npm start Now you can see the app uh, is uh, started. Okay, so you can see it has run node index.js. That is what we define as part of the start, right? Now if I go to the browser and if I access this app using the port 3000, we should be able to access it. Now if you see, if I go to localhost and 3000, you can see, you know, the I'm getting the home page, right? And if I go and slash will, the other route, you can see it says hello world. And if I go to ready, you can see it says great it works right so actually the system works so i will just exit from here okay 
so you can see I've closed this one and now uh, in my locally this is it will not work now what I want to do is I want to uh, push uh, this app into your into the Azure app service right so in order to do that you need to have this uh, plugin okay or the extension so that you know I can sign into Microsoft Azure so if you don't see this uh, Azure icon what you need to do is you need to go to manage go to your extension okay you can see it's already installed for me like install you can see Azure app service you just uh, search for Azure okay so once you search it will list down all the apps and you can see this app you can see there is option called install right since I already installed it does not show uh, the option to install it so you just need to click on install and once it got installed you should uh, have this uh, Azure icon up here okay so once you click on it you can see uh, asking to sign in right so you just click on uh, sign in so it's taken me to the browser and I just need to click on it so that it can uh, log in okay now uh, my Azure app uh, is in uh, logged in okay so because I already have uh, logged in with my you know uh, web browser so it's taken those login details if you don't have it you need to log in okay so now you can see my Azure subs subscription is opening up here and you know I can see the apps right so app service which is what we are going to use it okay so we have the app service here okay so now what you need to do is we need to right click and we need to create a new web app okay so I'm going to use the basic uh, Linux uh, you know, operating system if you want to use Windows then you'll have to use uh, advanced option and you have to set it so I'm going to use the basic uh, Linux uh, option itself so I will uh, give this name as uh, test node app okay it says uh, already existing so node.js app okay so I will just test node.js app so it's the unique name so I will press enter and I'm going to use the latest uh, node 18 LTS long term and I'm going to use the free tire so uh, for this app services you have a free option so you can use that it's a uh, uh, ever free so you can use that to try out with no cost okay so I will use that now you can see the activity it's trying to create the web app okay so it's getting created and what will actually it will do is like it will be creating uh, inside your uh, Microsoft portal itself because whatever it's getting pushed it's uh, going to come here okay so um, I, I, you don't you don't see any resources now so as soon as it started creating one by one you will start seeing on your Azure login as well okay so let's wait for this to be completed so you can see you know the creation of app is completed and now it's asking us to deploy right so we can see the app name is test node.js app.azurewebsite.net okay now we need to deploy because it's only the app is created so we just need to click on deploy so that you know the content uh, you know from the node app so you need to select fr from where you need to uh, deploy it so i will be using the root of node app dot underscore test and you can select yes uh, so that you know automatically whenever you make changes it can you know uh, make those uh, changes okay or you can skip now and you can uh, you know uh, do this uh, push uh, every time when you make changes you can redeploy as well so I will just uh, skip this for now okay so you, you let's wait for this to be completed you can see the output log so you can see uh, you know it has started the deployment right so let's wait for that to be completed so you can see it's uh, creating the zip package and all those things so let's wait for the whole process to be completed and uh, the app is ready meanwhile if you go to your azure portal login and if you see all resources we can see the app service app inside app service plan so all those things are uh, created right so we need to wait for the whole process to be completed so let's wait so you could see that you know the deployment is uh, successful and you know you got a now a window called browse the website right so if you click on it it will take you to the browser directly which would be your test node.js app.azurewebsite.net right which uh, uh, got created as part of the uh, you know, your app so let's wait for this you know to load so uh, if you go to your browser as i mentioned you know it has created all this uh, apps and everything so you can see that right so when you click on the app uh, you should be able to get an overview so uh, you can see it's uh, loading so you can see the url for it right like test node.js app azure website.net that is what uh, we are using here 
and you can also see like it has not have a health check, health check and we are using f1 free uh, service plan right and the azure subscription so all those details you will be able to see like you also get like http request response time request time all those things so let's wait for uh, this to be up so that you know it can uh, load the page now we can see like you know when we run the test node.js app.azurewebsite.net we are getting the home page right and if i put slash uh, will you should see that you know other route and also like if i go to slash ready it should take us to the other uh, page right so the app is working now and if you also go to your app service you can also see this uh, node.js app uh, from your visual studio code right and also you can see application settings you will be also able to see your files like node uh, modules right so all those things should be able to see from here itself so like all the index.js and all those things is already uploaded into your uh, app okay so that's why we are able to uh, access it right so that's the uh, you know ultimate uh, thing which i want to show you like you know how you can easily create an app and it's uh, pushed to your azure uh, app now what we also will do is like okay let's consider you know uh, we want to make some changes so if i go back you know i have uh, uh, you know the change uh, like you know i have the index.js right and i want to make the changes so i, I want to say uh, hello world uh no i want to change um, just something just i want to just change uh, hello okay and uh yeah definitely it works i'll just make uh no? make some changes and i'll just save this file okay and now what i want to do is i want to re uh push it so i'll just right right click and uh, deploy to web app okay and you can see i'll just use the location again so that it can uh, push the uh, new one okay now you can see are you want to de re you know deploy it? No. this will overwrite any previous deployment and cannot be undone okay so i will uh, redeploy it okay and uh, i can click yes so that you know every time when i make changes into that uh, folder it will automatically uh, deploy it into your uh, azure app okay so let's wait for uh, this to be completed so now you can see it's uh, uh, doing the changes let's wait for that to be completed now we can see it, it has uh, completed the redeployment okay so uh, it has done the whole process and if i go back to the browser uh, let's wait uh, for that to be loading again now we can see like you know when you go to ready it shows definitely it works right and if i go to your home page it's it's as same as like hello from tips for you and if i go to will The other route is just hello right so it has taken those changes what we made into your uh, you know the code and when we redeployed those changes are applied so it's pretty simple right whatever you made the changes in the visual studio code you just need to have one click that you know redeploy it and your app is having all the changes so it, it is that simple like you know if you have visual studio code editor and your azure is uh, you know connected to your visual studio code editor and you just need to have a clicks and all these uh, changes will be applied into your your web page or your application right so and now you know uh, you can see you know all these i uh, uh, you know your resources are available now if you want to delete it you can uh, delete it from here as well and uh, you know you can also delete it from your you know azure uh, visual studio code editor as well so if i want to delete i'll just click on you know i will probably i will stop this right so i can stop the app i can start the app so there are the option and you can also uh, delete the app as well now if you see i can uh, delete so i will uh, delete the app okay so you can see you want to delete the apps and all the service plan and uh, so all those things so i will just click on yes okay so the service plan is what uh, based on the charging will happen so since we are using free attire it's okay but i will uh, delete all the resources as well okay so you can see it has started the deletion process and we will see the changes on your our i uh, know the resources as well you can see it's getting deleted right so we have we don't have the all services you know so we have only the insights now so you can see it has deleted all those things uh, you can also delete these things like you know you can delete here and they can just type yes so if any resources is pending you can delete it from you know the all resources as well okay so let's wait for that to be completed from your microsoft azure okay 
and if you also want to you know log out from your azure subscription what you can do is you can press uh, f1 so what we were uh, talking was like you know, if you want to uh, log out from the azure subscription what you can do is you just need to press f1 and you will get this uh, a window where you can type like a is uh, azure sign out okay so a z s o so you will get this uh, message so once you click on sign out you can see it's completely signed out from the azure itself so if you worried about you know it get automatically pushed or something you can uh, completely sign out from the azure itself okay so that is also uh, another option so whatever we discussed you know everything uh, will be documented in my github as well like the link for your uh, the node app as well so you can make use of that so refer my video description to get more information and the reference links for this okay so that is all uh, for this video where we discuss completely about azure app and uh, app service and also how to deploy your node.js you know application web application to your app azure app services right so it's pretty simple process and we had gone through the end-to-end -end process and uh, it's easy to deploy it right so and if, if you want to deploy it through a windows uh, server then it'll be a little bit different but i will refer that also into the video description so you can refer that documentation as well so i hope this uh, tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching and i'm looking forward for your support uh, kindly like my videos share and uh, I know, uh, give your feedback in the comment section.